So determinants of uh, interest rate. So we have here the nominal interest rate okay, composed of real risk pay rate, which is your K, uh, inflation premium, additional payment okay, due to the effect of uh, inflation, which affects the purchasing power of money, okay, and uh, liquidity premium, the uh, additional payment for the hardship of converting uh, debt security into cash. Mahirap siyang ibenta. Yeah? Maturity risk premium is the additional payment due to the issuing of long-term security. So since uh, mas matagal na bonded ka doon sa security at hindi mo magamit yung pera mo, mag-require ka ng mas mataas na interest. And default risk premium is additional payment okay, due to non-payment or default in interest and principal. Okay, so pag inad natin itong dalawa, uh, real risk free rate at saka inflation premium, this is also known as nominal risk free rate, okay, which is equivalent to your treasury bill rate, which is again the lowest or the uh, uh, minimum rate of return for every debt security investment. Eh, sir, bakit ganun? Kailangan ko pang magbigay uh, ng interest at real risk free yung rate na yan. Akala ko ba risk free? Bakit ko pa siya babayaran? Last. This is to entice, yes, di ba? This is to encourage, di ba? Yung mga investor na imbis na gamitin nila, consume nila yung pera nila by uh, purchasing uh, goods or services, ipahiram nila by investing. Ipahiram nila sa banko, ipahiram nila sa corporation, sa government, kasi may kapalit. At ang kapalit class ay in the form of interest. So, para maingganyo sila, may minimum, which is equivalent to your treasury bill rate. Ngayon, nakadepende na sa klase ng uh, security at kung sino ang nag-issue. Kung government ang nag-issue, okay, wala kang default kasi hindi ka naman mababankrap government. Pag corporate, meron. So kung may default, eh, mahirap palang i-convert into cash. So may liquidity. Pag short term naman, since uh, mas mabilis lang yung hihintayin mong period at babalik na sa iyo yung pera, eh di yung maturity risk premium mo, eh mas mababa lang. Diba? Or baka wala pa kasi na short term. Pero kung long term, meron. So these are the components class of nominal interest rate. Pero hindi lahat, hindi lahat ng uh, debt securities ay may components at kompleto yung components. So the real risk free rate of interest represents the actual yield of risk-free debt security. Okay? Inflation premium protects the lender from the effect of inflation. Liquidity premium is additional interest for okay, debt securities that are fairly more difficult to convert into cash. Maturity risk premium is uh, imputed in long-term debt. Okay? And default risk premium is uh, uh, risk of default. No? Okay? Additional payment for the risk of default for the uh, un uh, unable, for the borrower, uh, wherein the borrower is unable to make timely interest or principal payment. Okay, so, itong mga to, i-add mo lang yung mga yan. Okay? Na uh, components, makukompute mo yung nominal interest rate as opposed to sa discussion natin with respect to IPRT. Diba? So, for you to be guided, okay, uh, if... Uh, the security is issued by the government, okay, whether short term or long term, ha, meron pong real risk free rate at inflation premium. Okay? At kung government issued, wala siyang default. Okay? Wala siyang default at wala siyang liquidity. Okay? Wala siyang default wala siyang liquidity. Ang meron lang po pag long term since government issued is the maturity. Okay? Pag corporate issued, may mga korporasyon na nababankrap kaya may default risk premium. Since mababankrap pala or possible na mababankrap, mahirap i-convert to cash kaya may liquidity premium. Okay? At ngayon, since short term security lang yan, wala kang maturity risk premium. Short term government like treasury bill, wala kang maturity risk premium. Pag long-term plus at corporate issue, lahat ay kasama. Yan. Included. Ngayon, I would like you to uh, uh, highlight okay, 
that uh, regardless of the security, whether government or corporate issued, okay, the nominal risk free rate, which is the minimum rate of return for a debt security, composed of real risk free rate and inflation premium are present. And po, okay, ayan. Lahat po sila meron para maingan nyo to entice okay, the uh, investor to invest. Ayan. So take note of this. Tapos ito po ang ating uh, kumbaga letter natin no I at saka B. Okay, tandaan niyo lang 'yan. Okay? So ngayon to illustrate, okay, let us illustrate. So problem yeah, Jam Jam okay, is planning to invest in a government issued security and had the following data at hand. Real risk free rate is 5%. Okay, constant inflation premium is 8%. Maturity risk premium is 1%. Default risk premium for AAA bond is 3%. Equity premium is 2%. Assume that expected inflation rate is constant. What is the nominal risk free rate? So ang gagawin mo lang class, i-add mo lang itong dalawa. Real risk free at saka inflation, you have 13%. What is the nominal rate on long-term treasury bond? So pag treasury, meron pong K, which is your uh, real risk free rate. Meron siyang I, inflation, at meron siyang M, maturity. So, kasama rin po ito. Okay? So, your answer should be 14%. For number three, suppose that the annual expected rate of inflation over each of the next six years are 4%, 6%, 9%, 12%, and 13%, and 16%. What is the average inflation rate? So, all you have to do, class, is just to add and divide this by 6. So, disregard mo na itong 8. Diba? So to answer, ito yung solution natin. Okay, so 13. 5 plus 8, 13. I hope tama kayo dyan. And then for long-term treasury bond, dagdagan mo lang ng maturity risk premium, 13 plus 1, 14. Okay? So hindi na natin ina-apply dito yung IPRT. No? Ang presumption is i-compute mo muna interest rate at yan yung i-promise mo bago ka mag-issue ng debt security. Diba? At kapag nag-issue ka na, after one year, bayaran mo na. That's the time na mag-compute ka na ng interest expense. Then average inflation rate is 10%. I-add mo lang lahat ng mga expected inflation na rates. Divide this by 6. So, ganun po. And then next, yan. Banko Central ng Pilipinas issued a 30-day treasury bill which are currently yielding at 9%. So ito pong treasury bill rate na ito, this is your nominal risk-free rate. So kung nominal pala yan, class, this is equivalent to okay, real risk-free rate plus inflation premium. And your inflation premium is 5. So 5% 5 ito, 9% ito. So ang makukompute mo na real risk-free rate ay 4%. Yan. So ang sagot natin, class, for number 4 is 4%. Okay? What is the quoted interest rate for short-term corporate note? So kung corporate note yan, may inflation premium, may liquidity, may default, pero short-term, kaya wala siyang maturity. Okay, so 4 plus 5, that's 9, plus 1, that's 10, plus 2, that's 12. Okay? Pero pag long-term corporate bond, may inflation, may liquidity, may maturity, at may default. So 4 plus 5, plus 1, plus 2, plus 2. That is equivalent to 14. And this is our solution okay, for question number uh, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, 4% real risk-free rate, 12% short-term corporate note, and 14% long-term corporate note. Take note, ito po ay nominal interest rate. And to convert it to effective interest rate, apply the formula of annual percentage yield as discussed okay, in our working capital management. Okay? So this ends our discussion for determinants of interest rate.